Hello and welcome back to uh, Caves of the Code. We're on a absolutely absurd run and honestly I'm just kind of like doing continuous backflips uh, as I just like explore the world at my complete and total leisure. Um, I'm right now just just for fun traveling 28 strata deep psychic presence foreign to this place in time. Well, that's okay. Uh, well, uh, it's not great because I don't yet have my clairvoyance off. But yeah, I'm, I'm 29 strata deep in the Baroque ruins, and I just found a swarm wrap, a rack, which is kind of wild. And we also just found ourselves a extra dimensional dawning ape and esper assassin. So that's kind of cool. Um, although uh, potentially life threatening. I would like to try and destroy this lad but who knows how that will go i'm right on the staircase so i don't think that they have anything that can instantly kill us but all the same I'll... um masterwork point defense drone ceases floating near you why is that why is that is it because it ran out of juice Wait, what? Does not seem to be able to float at this time. Um, let me just have a look. That's a little bit concerning. I'm not sure why that would be. Oh, it's drained. Okay, go ahead and replace the cell with an antimatter cell. It's, it's time. And then equip it. The, the uh, antimatter cell... Or the, uh, sorry, the point defense drone does a lot. Whoa. That was kind of wild. It's got some chop. This guy's got some chops. Um, he can freeze at will. And he can also do like a huge destructive blast. I really don't want to accidentally hit the turret. Burrows a channel through the psychic ether and begins to sunder your mind. Yeah, I mean, that's not great, but I do have a mental mirror. It should offer some protection. We have 23 MA. In fact, I'm pretty sure I already broke the tether with them. No, we're locked in psychic battle. We're doing some pretty good damage to them. I, I'm keeping I'm very cautious here. Make no mistake. So far, the damage they're doing to me from Sundering is, is nothing to worry about. They are lightly damaged. I am curious about how much damn uh, XP you'll get from this guy. Oh yeah, that's this. Our Sundermine to them is so much more. It does a little damage to us, but thousand XP, nice, nice. There's a vigor sap. Um, let's just go ahead and. Uh, our clairvoyance ran out just just as I did that. The only reason that sucks is I'm gonna have to wait for it to come back Before I go to the next floor There we go, there is a crystal longsword here. Oh, there's another vigor sap uh, I guess I guess we angered these little bat friends. Oh, well What do we got just a flawless crystal longsword? I'll take it trade goods What do we got here? Ooh, we got some stuff. There's a magma slime. We don't have to worry about them. But there's also a blast cannon. And some flawless crystal boots. Those are kind of on the heavy side, and we actually are running out of... I, I should have deposited more stuff. So I'll just go ahead and leave all that. Magmatic slime, I'm very glad that we are on good terms. Um, thank you for being a friend. Goodbye. Alrighty, alrighty, what we got? We have a, uh, coral hermit. I think they're called, or, yeah, a reef hermit, not coral her hermit. We got a reef hermit. And a mirror bug. Mirror bugs suck. Really not a huge fan of mirror bugs. Um, that being said, we should be okay. 
Uh, salt and crocs kind of suck as well, actually. I just remembered. I just, I, I just remembered that they tend to aggro on you even if you are on good terms. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some pot shots on them. Actually, now that a prism antimatter prism gel is devouring them, wow, salt and croc took them out. Sometimes I just like to watch like how uh, you know just like observe how well things fight other things it gives me an idea of actually how powerful they are more so than like the danger sense you get from looking at things uh, i am going to take a crack shot at that sultan croc really not a huge fan oh did i no i didn't anger the magmatic slime that is like a hundred percent um you know my priority, I do not want to anger a magmatic slime. There, that would suck. Uh, so, red gel died. We're still on good terms with the magmatic slime. This is good. I don't know what, like, I, I you know... Forgive me for being very cautious, but I have gotten into quite a lot of trouble in the past from, like, not correctly assessing the situation. I know we basically have a permanent, like, indestructible armor that we can shoot through. I know, you know, we've got, we've got some chops. I don't have to worry. I guess I could have, um... There's no staircase leading down. Is this it? I guess 31 strata deep is as far as we go. Well, as long as we're this deep, we might as well start traveling across. There's a Vanta Bloom in here. Is the music different? on I don't think I've ever heard this track before Has that, has that been playing the entire time I've been in the Baroque Ruins? That's a, that's a really cool track. Uh, Litho Fix, my old friend. Hey, we got a staircase going down. Are we sure there's no, uh, staircase? Lithofex. Lithofex is almost exclusively why I put so much stock in refractive. Um, Lithofex is one of my least favorite enemies in the game in lieu of the fact that it, they did kill one of my best runs. So I'm just going to continue down and kind of enjoy the atmosphere for a moment. Okay, we've got memory eaters. We got, ooh, we got some glitter mench. Love me a glitter mench. Could definitely kill some glitter mench. I really wish I had uh, my nanon mod already. Let's go ahead and put our force bubble up. Because, uh, dismembering Glittermensch is like, it's a little personal hobby of mine, you know? It's my side hustle. Love, I love me, uh, I love me a Glittermensch. It's just, it's just good money, you know? But killing a Glittermensch is good enough. We can sunder their mind, I think. Yeah, that was... They, they don't have much mind to Sunder, but that actually makes them very, very easy targets for Sunder. Good lord, we do a lot of damage. I actually... I, I'm kind of worried that 
uh, my enjoyment of this linear cannon is going to lead it to be nerfed. Like, I'm like, oh man, this linear cannon is actually one of the best things I have ever found in a long time. And I'm just like, oh, that means th th it's, it's doomed, isn't it? That means it's doomed. <laughs> We have a decarbonizer on the east side, um, which I almost didn't see. I'm a little bit worried about what that is. I don't know what it does, and I don't want to find out. Something about it just reads as very threatening. Um, I actually, <laughs> because I had to look up, uh, I generally have to look up a tile for each episode so that I can put something on the thumbnail. Um, and I... Uh, I had to look up robots and I saw decarbonizer is actually right underneath chrome pyramid so it's like lurking lurking stalker then gal gal then decarbonizer then chrome pyramid they're very very high on the totem pole and I've never actually fought one I, I have they're a very recent discovery of mine, so I, I don't think I want to mess with something I don't understand. Seeing as I am on such a good run, but hey, look what we what we just found. We found a quick sap's face. Um, let's grab one of those for our golem. Who knows? Uh, what was that sound? It's doing something. What are you doing, decarbonizer? Why are you shooting at me? And what was that? I guess uh, robots don't like spiders and they were shooting at the spider. I don't feel good about any beam that has to be charged. Let me explain. <laughs> if a beam has to be charged, that means it has to be balanced for being charged. Meaning that if a beam is good enough, that it's it's offsetting the uh you know pretty pretty big flaw of having to be charged. That means it's a very good beam. Uh case in point, I mean it's right here on the screen. Uh Lithofix have to charge their beam in order to, you know, and it's, it's slightly offset by the fact that they permanently kill you. They destroy you in, in, in one shot if they manage to land it. So I'm not a huge fan of any beam that has to be charged. Um, with that being said, I would prefer not to find out what decarbonizer means, but it really does sound like it just destroys you. Turn reduces you back to your primordial self. Um, wow, this is quite the screen. We've got a mirror. I would like to destroy said mirror. We leveled up off that. Ah, uh, we didn't get a, a mirror corpse. Mirror dust is like actually one of the best ingredients in the game very hard to obtain very difficult to obtain basically you can only buy it i have to say i really appreciate uh that um oh, we we should not be tangling with a gamma moth without our, sh our shield on i really appreciate that the lithofix beam has been updated <laughs> to be far more visually uh, visible. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it was not super visible first time I saw it anyway. So we just got a Nano Nero animator. Um, I mean, we could just like hang out down here for a long time and, you know, find all of the good things. Pair of boots, huh? Or boots, huh? 3D cobblers. Those are pretty cool, but I am going to disassemble them. We're still uh, overburdened? Why is that? What are we carrying? 
That overburdened us so much. Grenades? We do have a lot of grenades. Uh, we have... Why do we have so many acid gas grenades? Let's disassemble all of those. Oh, and there's uh, all this crystal coronet on the ground. Uh, again, I don't think that it's really worth picking up. Especially if it over encumbers us. If we pick this up, no, oh, okay, that yeah, that did over encumber us. Shoot, um, I'm gonna keep stasis grenades. I'll disassemble like one thermal grenade. I know it probably bothers someone out there that the first grenades I disassemble are the uh, the ones with airfoil on them, but uh, you know, sorry. Okay, remove cell. I kind of want to disassemble this turbo. Also kind of want to disassemble this blast cannon, if I'm being honest. It's a 7-bit. Let's disassemble this grenade launcher uh, and eigen rifle. I know those are a good trade, but, um, you know, they're pretty good bits, too. I like that the lithofix is being like interdicted by like 50 things. All right, I'm just kind of like wandering around. Are we still in the Baroque ruins? We're in just, we're just in subterranean now. Ooh, we got another mirror. I like this, uh, ah, uh, antimatter prism, anti-prism freaking gel. You, uh, you, you're absorbing my mirror. Oof. I won't lie, uh, staring down an ego sap is pretty scary. The, I don't want to have to fight mirror bugs. They're, they're the only things that can hurt us. Also, did we level up? Did we get 29 intelligence? No, we didn't. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know when that's going to happen. I would guess it's going to happen at level 40. Are these guys worth any XP? 155. I mean, that's not nothing. Let's just put our force field on. Ooh, that was dangerous. There we go. Um. Yeah, we have our clairvoyance. I, you know, I, I don't really know what we're doing, but I am doing it. We've got a dynamic turn tinker. We could definitely uh, see what they make. Glitterminch brainer. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and sunder the brain of a brainer. I don't know if we're actually getting any, like, gems from that. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, we, we totally did. There is, there's nine amethyst gemstones just hanging out on the ground. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, there's, there's some, there's some good stuff here. I just, uh, there's something about gemstones in CUD that, like, really, they look so appealing to me, you know? Like, I, I can't help but go for them. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe this, uh, turret, grab its, pro oh, gigantic cube? What do you mean? We have a gigantic fidget cell, okay. Is this a gigantic eigen rifle? No. Ow. We can take an eigen rifle shot to the chin. It's all it's all good. You just go ahead and throw down some eigen rifles. I was kind of hoping for some antimatter cells. I won't, won't lie. You really are cheaping out with your eigen turrets with these uh 
chem cells. Speaking of which, we should really treat start treating those as scrap. I'm not sure why I'm not already. Ah, there we go. There's an antimatter cell. Some good, good, good bits, you know. Uh, there we go. Yeah, they're they're just gonna they're gonna make some more stuff. Is this a, uh, another chem cell? Uh, honestly, like we really what we really need is um, We need uh, neutron flux and this isn't really getting us neutron flux I should go to six day stilt And check our uh, icker we don't have any do we have any um, Books we have one book, okay, there you go I think we handed in all of the Russia floor. I'm still playing with the idea of using metamorphic polygel on the, uh, on the neutron flux, but I mean, like, do we really need to rush that hard? Still no neutron flux. Okay. Where do, where would one get neutron flux? Like we really needed legendary Icker. It's the one thing we're missing that in like a legendary book binder. Legendary bookbinder would be really nice. But like, you know, how do you go about finding these things? We can look at our merchants. I guess they haven't been to that legendary shoemaker. I mean, that's a that's a priority, you know. Got to got to go to that legendary. Got to get ourselves some legendary tims. Legendary hatter, hatter. We got a lot of hatters. I don't know. Have I have I really spent any time looking at uh, Eat Freehold? I wonder if there's anyone in the. Uh... I guess I haven't. Do we have anyone down here worth looking at? Juicer Cannibal, Giob. There isn't really any other merchants down here. We did get some plump mushrooms from the uh, mushroom garden, though. Um, yeah, what do we do though? I'm just trying to think what like where would where would we get some neutron flux? We really like the best way to get them is from an Icker merchant. Um, we do need some like parts. Speaking of which we should drop off. Well, let's uh, let's drop off some stuff here, but I also just like want to start putting together like we'll, we'll go we'll go drop off some stuff at Great Gate that is um, specifically for the golem. Uh, I guess I don't have all that much. Let's go to Great Gate. Let's uh, let's assess how much. How, how far are we? We only have the one neutron flux. That's that's been established many times. Um, armament, Zeta Chrome, Atmos. So Atmos would give us wings at level ten. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and drop off our our two things there. Oh, all right, we have a we got a second nano neuro animator. Do we? I wonder if we want to use it. I keep not tumbling all of our gems. I really ought to do that. Drop off our Zeta Chrome and our one chunk of flesh. Where is it? Quick Sap's face. Uh, Atmos, yeah. Catalyst. Hit points. These are all, this, these are what we have. Burgeoning at level five. I should go to the alchemist and just like grab every single liquid type and then uh, maybe we can assess from there. Oh yeah, I do need to give them a body. I haven't really made a proper friend to give it to them. Would be nice to make it something like a spider 
since we are like, you know, it would go with the whole scorpion theme, but I, I know from experience that, that that means they won't have hands. Although, what do spiders have? Um, honestly, what would be kind of nice is to give them a spider atmos. Or maybe a scorpion atmos. Um, and then maybe they'll get like multiple legs or a uh, stinger. But then, you know, they're already going to get metachrome long blades, so we don't necessarily have to give them a stinger. Um, what would be really good is quickness. Incantation. This is going to be a biggie. I really, I, I'm going to probably agonize over this a lot and i'll what i'll likely do is like agonize it over it off camera because i don't want you to have to deal with that i wouldn't mind giving it extra move speed that is very tempting uh hamza hamza is just like one of anything right one small thing Extra skill points. AV per fungal infection. Whoa, that's a weird one. That's an interesting one, actually. DV ego. Well, I clearly I'm not going to be coming to a conclusion about this anytime soon. Oh, electrical generation would be nice. That'd be really nice because then we could give swarm rack... Uh, jacked and then um I, at that point i'm not sure what the limitation is i don't know if maybe does, like does it regenerate ammo i don't know how it works light manipulation is also really tempting i, I yeah this is like it's it's such a difficult uh thing we should um we could do the moon stair quest i think that's an option i never i, I haven't really considered that hello hold on chat I may I uh, pity snores loudly after such comparison one will find Memon what they've such a creation burgeon from empty space to fullness of being is one of power wouldn't you say well well am I reading their thoughts do I have that ability I didn't think I did, and I don't. Are they just like speaking like that? Um, tell me more about the components I must gather. Power source. Ascended, ascending creature need mightiful, mightful battery with rare electromagnetic shielding. Purple prickles make neutron cell with three flux drams or must find different source. Um, so I, I've, they, they mentioned that you can do something at the moon stair to, to get a power source. I might consider doing that. And also I haven't done it. So there is that, um, moon stair shouldn't be too bad for us since we're friends with all of uh, the right people. What's the last one though? Body catalyst. We need more things. Book Hamza. Ascension. Okay, so maybe in the next episode we'll do the moon stair, or at least we'll start the moon stair because it is actually a pretty hefty quest. Um, we'll see. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.